Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at who is your soulmate. So we're going to look at their possible zodiac sign, characteristics they have, what they look like, um, why they may possibly be your soulmate, all of that jazz. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you would also like a personal, check out the description box, okay? All right, Pisces. Who is their possible soulmate? Who is their possible soulmate? Okay, so we have, ooh, these cards are new, okay? Um, so this person right off the bat, this person may have like this alluring set of eyes. They may have like a really nice eye color or they just may be somebody who has like this piercing look or like this look where you can almost look into their eyes and almost sense their story or um see their story if that makes sense um this is somebody who's pretty serious when you first meet them or her like they come off pretty serious like a serious individual somebody who's like no nonsense or just somebody who likes to keep to themselves but when you really get close to them they're really sweet and really deep as well <laughs> Um, and, and they may have a little bit of a sense of humor. Another thing that I'm kind of saying, this person may have a little bit of, um, like intuitive gifts. This could be, you know, you finding out through them that they have like random dreams that kind of manifest in a sense, or they may be somebody who can just like sense people's energy. Like there's something up with them. They have like a level of like mysticism to them almost. Ooh, we have the kiss. Oh my God. Okay, so let's let's talk about it then. <laughs> no, let me stop. Anyways, um, so with this card, this is literally now the energy that I'm getting off of this card. For a lot of you, the sexual chemistry is definitely going to be there. Like this person may be a really good kisser for one. Let's just get that out of the way. But this person may be very passionate in the way that they show love or when they're intimate with someone for some of you this may even be a Scorpio child um but this person is very very passionate this person is the type of person to show affection really anywhere like they like that public display of affection type of stuff okay and holding hands and and things we have the dead end hmm so this person, ugh, okay, so they have a fear of hitting like a low point. So what may happen is they may have moments of having severe anxiety and you may kind of notice it and pick up on it uh, because this person has hit their lowest point at one point and they don't really want to hit their lowest point again. Um, hmm. This person also, when they come into your life, it may even be when you're at your lowest point or when you feel like you've literally hit a dead end in terms of um, progress. But then this person gives you that hope and that push to be able to keep yourself moving. Um, let me move this out of the way. Let's pull some more cards. Give me more information on my Pisces soulmate. Um, integration interesting you and this person may be completely different in terms of the way that you guys move and the way that you guys think some of you guys may physically even look different like you guys may be two different nationalities or there may be some sort of like again difference that you guys have but you guys are still able to connect with each other and build some sort of like true bond um shine on so yeah like i said this person is going to come into your life and the way that they're going to influence your life is give you this boost of energy give you this boost of self-confidence to help yourself keep pushing we also have embrace and dance like i said they like that public affection y'all thought i was joking 
the way that they show their interest is through physical touch. Okay. Um, this person is also really good at drawing people in. Like I said, initially, this person may be very mysterious and hard to read, but when you get to know them, this person is very charming. So let's see what their zodiac sign is. What is the possible zodiac sign of this individual we're talking about? Because now I want to know. So we have Aries. Okay. We have Pisces. So some of you guys, if I'm talking about you, this just may be a sign that you're your own soulmate or you don't have a physical soulmate. And that's okay. Um, everybody doesn't have a soulmate. That's not reality. Um, we have Virgo energy, Gemini, and last card, Scorpio. I knew it. I knew it had to be Scorpio. <laughs> and this could be the sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Again, don't harp on the zodiac signs too much. This is general, okay? Get you a personal if you feel some type of way and you need some clarity. All right? Don't be cheap. <laughs> okay. All right, um, so do my Pisces already know this soulmate? Do my Pisces already know this soulmate? Give me four cards. Okay, so we have the world card, queen of cups, page of wands, and the empress. Um, so for a lot of you, no. You don't know who the soulmate is yet because you guys still may be kind of tackling another situation as of right now. Like if you're in a relationship watching this, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that person. I'm going to just tell you that right now. And I don't want anybody to feel hurt or anything by, by that. It's just, it is what it is. Everybody's not a soulmate. Um, but, um, a lot of you, you haven't met this person yet because you may still be tied up in another situation. Um... And some of you, it may be more of a situation where you have children with this person. Um, but if you're like in a current relationship, it's saying that you have to leave a certain situation to even meet this person. Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys, like there's a blockage keeping you from actually meeting this person because you may have like an ex that keeps coming back, keeps coming back. And you guys may think that that's the soulmate, but it's not the soulmate. So that's like something that's, it's tricky. It looks interesting for some of you guys, but okay. So let's go ahead and pull some charms. Give me information on the soulmate. Okay, very career driven. That's like the first thing that I'm getting. This person may like to go on like cruises or they have like a thing for boats. They may even have a boat. If they got money like that, of course, again, take what applies and what doesn't. <laughs> Everything's not for you. Um, hmm. This person may be an entrepreneur. They have a really big heart too. This is somebody who's really, really caring and loving. Um, they may be Christian or somebody who goes to church actively. Um, they may be Middle Eastern for some of you. Hmm. They may be into like horses. Like if, um, if there's a woman, they may like to ride horses and stuff like that, like on the weekends. Um, I see that this person may also have a, a younger child, like between the ages of two to six. This person may also be into music. They may like sing or do music or trying to do music professionally. They may also have like a huge family. Um, this person also may have like a big ego. That's like another thing I'm seeing. They may have like a big ego. But okay, let's close it out by looking at some last traits we can find out. 
So give me more information on my Pisces soulmate. Give me more information. So they're very direct and they're blunt, especially if they're in Aries. Um, they may be light slash fair skinned. Um, they may be fit slash slim. Somebody working on their uh, fitness. We have tall, funny slash sense of humor, wavy hair. Somebody who may be well known in their area. Ooh, well known in their area. Um, especially if you do like social media work or something. Um, this person may be spiritual or like I said, very religious, like they stick to their faith. And then last two cards, we have sexy, so they're attractive. And we have hesitant. And when I say hesitant, this is somebody who does not just jump into relationships. They may even hesitate a little bit before they even take anybody serious, but that's for protection of themselves. Um, and yeah, so this is what I see. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and that you took what you need to take from it. If you did, thumbs the video up and subscribe. Check out the description box and oh, check out the description box if you want a personal order to purchase crystals and I will see you in the next one. Bye Pisces.